Well, here we are at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the Pylon Tech stand. And uh, look, I've had a lot to do with Pylon Tech. I love their batteries and uh, I've done some interesting integrations with them. Uh, so I'm here with Simon and hey, Simon's man. gonna talk a bit about this new baby here. Yeah, well, the, uh, this is our Force L1, L meaning low voltage. Uh, basically, this has been around for a couple of years at Pylon Tech. Uh, they've used it overseas, but it's only just starting to get into the Australian market today. Um, it's obviously approved through the CEC. Its compatibility is obviously with the Victron unit that we have over here that the boys from MI brought in, uh, which has been pretty handy for us today. But also to a lot of your major uh, inverters that are already in the market in Australia are compatible with this unit. And what I like about it is its capacity and scalability. So tell me a bit about this. It looks modular. Yes, it is a modular scale. Um, basically, each module is about 3.5 in total, 3.5 kilowatt hours in total. Uh, minimum's about two uh, before you stick the BMS up on top. But it's a pretty simple installation for the installers. Uh, basically, just a base plate, as you know, click the first battery down and just keep stacking it until such times you're up to your capacity. Right, so this can go up to what, five stacks? Seven. Seven, okay, so up here somewhere? Yeah, it can go up to seven stacks. Uh, basically you get up to around about 24 kilowatt hours in storage. 24 in kilowatt hours in a space yeah. that big? Yeah. That's impressive. It's amazing. <laughs> so I see it's got a built-in uh, DC circuit breaker. Yeah, so it comes in with a DC circuit breaker already built in. Uh, this particular model actually has a Wi-Fi as well. Okay. So the good thing about that, you can be independent from the inverter that you're working with. Give you some battery information more so than inverter information, which is good. I mean, it's always good to work with the inverter information. Uh, but it's also nice to know what your batteries are doing as so well. So there's an app for the battery? Yeah, there's an app for this battery right. as well. Right, wow. Yeah. Uh, it's got uh, all your connections come with the actual battery, so all your wires, all your connections are already included when someone purchased this system. And it depends on how the guys want to install it. Uh, it's IP55 rated, so if in an ice shelter spot outside, obviously it can uh, uh, you know, accommodate most installations. Yeah, so outside of direct sun and rain, yep. uh, but it is uh, weather tight to the extent that uh, a, a few splashes are fine. Yeah, yeah. okay, so that, that's great. And um, it's a very attractive looking unit. Yeah, they put a bit of work into it, the guys over at Pylon Tech. Yep. Uh, it's been pretty popular in Europe. Uh, seems like they get all that stuff over there before we get it here, but I think that's a good testing ground. And uh, the little unit that you got there is one that they do sell into to Europe, not so much here in Australia. Uh, I think because the capacity of it's a little bit too small. And uh, we've gone for the H1 in the high voltage. It looks basically the same as this. It's just got a blue top on it like that. Uh, that's been going quite well with the guys over at Inga team. Uh, I think you've got one of those in your place. Uh, but uh, we, we find that's a building product with uh, the Pylon Tech as well. Actually, yeah, I've got the H1 with a, a couple of uh, Inga team inverters yeah. and I built a little EV charging station for it. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I'll put the link up here in the description, okay. uh, also in the link up here, uh, so you can go and watch that video. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I like these units. They're, they're good looking, um, compact, uh, and you know the color match is pretty neutral so you don't have to worry like you know it's pink or something that's right yeah but great so it's a change from the the um the 19 inch rack batteries that you've been uh pylon tech we'll always be doing time. the rack mounted ah, units okay. uh, basically won't move away from those because that's our traditional uh well we're doing a lot more commercial now too glenn yep. so uh, the rack mounted guys uh, like their off the off-grid rack mount systems uh, we do have an enclosure that you've got there as well that they'll put a small amount of batteries in. Uh, we do rack up, uh, most of our off-grid stuff's racked up. The guys just like to do it that way. They like to string it up, especially the Victron guys. They like to sort of string it up, strings of four, uh, run it through a bus bar. Uh, they just like that sort of control scalability. Um, we pointed out before that we've got you know, new, new batteries coming in now, the US 3000C which is a big improvement on the US 3000 and the UP 5000, which is a massive big Whoa. battery, five kilowatt hours and a small rack. It's, it's an absolute amazing battery. Well, I think we should have a look at that next. Okay. Okay. No worries. Well, Simon, here we are, this, this big boy. Yeah, it is an amazing battery, this uh, UP 5000. Uh, it's not uh, approved here yet, but it's not far off. Basically, everything goes through the CEC, as you know, with Pylon Tech and any other battery that needs to come into the market. But this is going to give the off-grid guys uh, a lot of punch. Uh, five kilowatt hours of one 
racked battery. Yes, they're a little bit more uh, heavier, but uh, it's going to give them a lot more, a lot more power, and it's it's just going to modulise it and scale down the system. I'll put the stats on the screen, but uh, if, if you know them, do you know what the output power of this is? Uh, look at this, Dave. Sorry, I don't. That's all right. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a new battery. It's a new battery. Out. It's new to me. It's new yeah. to you. But here it is. So it's the same sort of form factor, a little bit taller than the 3000? Yeah, a little bit bigger, uh, but they'll have the same sort of BMS systems in them. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the new ones have a 95% DOD. I'm presuming these will still have a 90% DOD. Uh, basically all the protocols will be basically the same as the US 2000, 3000, 3000C. So, um, you know, when the guys start putting these in, they'll be able to put 15 kilowatt hours and it'll only be a small stack wow. in a rack. Pretty incredible. So if your inverter or charge controller works with the 2000B, the 3000B or C, yeah. it'll work with the 5000? Yeah, it'll right. go Same protocol. In. Yeah, oh, same great. protocol. So, um, look, uh, I'm pretty sure you can actually marry and match a lot of pylon tech products as well. Um, we've had guys using US 3000s with US 2000s because of the same protocol. Yep. Uh, it might be that they might be able to slide these in as well, just to give a bit more. But at the end of the day, we'll all um, have to manage the systems when you're allowed to have so many batteries in parallel. And that's going to be the advantage now of the US 3000C, if you wanted to talk about that quickly. Yeah. And okay, we'll slide over to that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Hey Simon, so here we are at the uh, US 3000C, so this is the newer version of the 3000B. Yes, so basically what it is with the 3000C, we get, we're allowed to parallel up to 16 of these now. Wow. Without uh, an extra BMS, so uh, with the old US 3000s it used to be 8, yep. then we have to put an LV hub to manage those 8, after 8 batteries we have to put in an LV hub. So we then used to have to put in an extra BMS unit for that. Now with the US 3000C, uh, we've got a 95% DOD now on these batteries, 5% more. Uh, I mean, I still recommend the guys still give us a little bit more room, and I think that's what gives the installers a little bit more space now. So when they want them to set them to, say, 20% still, you know you've still got a lot of battery power left in there for your startup. Um, the, the, also, too, like I said, with the uh, US 3000C with 16 batteries now, uh, the guys can string them up in strings of four. It's a nice even number. Um, and uh, they're going to get a lot, a lot of power out of 16 batteries <laughs> yeah. in parallel. Wow, okay. Um, so there's a lot of small commercial coming on now and uh, guys like to get up to 60 odd kilowatts in low voltage batteries. This will be the, the one that will do that. Yeah. Uh, they've also got a new BMS uh, that um, will soft start. So what will happen if you get a current rush, uh, this will just gently uh, manage that current rush ah. and uh, it'll give the battery a longer life. Right. So if you've got a, a really powerful inverter that has a really low impedance, uh, that is some of a challenge, that inrush current. So yep. this will actually do soft start. Soft start. I don't think I've ever heard that before in a battery yeah. system. So uh, yeah. we've got a little bit of soft start in yep. this uh, BMS system and uh, basically I think it's a big improvement. Okay. Uh, it, it does talk with the uh, US 3000s and uh, I'm getting confirmation whether uh, once a US 3000 is put in as a master, it actually will uh, reinvent the other US 3000s to follow in behind. With you the mean firmware. like the B? So, yeah. Okay, so you can mix B and C together. Okay, yeah. oh, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks very much, Simon. Thanks, Glenn. Okay, yeah.